Hi, let's look at part three of this video series. Primarily, we are looking at AC 900 real exam questions. These are the latest ones. I would strongly recommend you to visit this playlist, which has uh, tons of videos. Those questions are still relevant. If you are preparing for the exam, for surety of passing, please do that series along with this new series. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. It keeps me motivated to put some more contents around this. Let's jump to the questions. Question 21. You may pause this video, read it carefully. So you have this data center and you have VMs running on this data center. Okay, this data center has VMs. What if this data center fails? Here you have this solution provided. It says you deploy the virtual machines to two or more regions. So what it means is, suppose this is Ohio and you have the data center in Ohio and you have the services deployed on this data center. So you will also have the services deployed in the data center in London, which is another region. And you also have the data center uh, with the services in Germany because the solution says two or more regions. So Ohio is your primary region. If this fails, then you still have London and Germany. So the services would be running in Germany and London when the primary data center in Ohio fails. So does this meet our goal? Yes, for sure. Because if one service fails, I have other regions taking care of the services and it never stops. The services won't stop. So yes, is the answer. Let's look at 22. So you will get similar questions uh, like three questions in one a single question and you have to select yes or no so the first one says you can only access so as your resources can only access other resources in the same resource group so for example you have resource group one and you have vm and app service what it says is only vm can talk to app service and vice versa this vm cannot talk to synapse here in the resource group two which is wrong because in a typical implementation, you will have multiple resource groups and multiple objects in those resource groups. Uh, it, the reason we do that is from a segregation standpoint, it is easy to recreate those uh, objects. And then uh, VMs can talk to Synapse. There might be applications on VM. Those can talk to Synapse, which is in different resource groups. So the answer for first one is no. The second one says, if you delete a resource group, all the resources in the resource group will be deleted. For example, you have resource group two. If I delete the group, I will lose an apps database. I'll lose this app service, so, which is correct because if you drop this group, all objects will be dropped. So the answer for this one is yes. And the third one says a resource group can contain resources from multiple Azure regions. That means this resource group one can have a VM which is in Ohio and app service which is in London. That is possible, perfectly possible. One resource group can have objects or services from different regions. So this is the final answer. Let's move to the next question. So question 23. You can pause this video here. So, if you have read this question, the question primarily says you have 20 terabyte of data. Just for example, I have put a database, and this 20 TB of data will be visualized using Power BI. Okay. Now, the question is saying this 20 terabyte where should you keep this 20 terabyte 
so options are the first says data lake remember that you have to select two solutions the so first one says data lake kind of looks okay second one says cosmos db doesn't look okay because cosmos db is a no sql database so cosmos db will not work here because against no sql you cannot fire power bi reports like this 20 terabyte if you have kept it in cosmos db you cannot plug power bi it has power bi works with rdbms that is sql based data sources so if you see this documentation this underlined or highlighted line tells you it's a no sql database third one says sql data warehouse the sql data warehouse or synapse is used interchangeably even in the exam recently also you see synapse it is limitless analytics service limitless can it hold 20 terabytes can it hold 20 terabytes yes it is limitless so we can use synapse so data warehouse option c is one answer now if you see option d and e both are not good for such high volume of data that is sql server database or postgres database both are not good so d and e are wrong because of the data volumes this will not work though they can so these two looks to be the correct answers if you see this documentation data lake has no limits and you can analyze and store petabyte petabyte size files so please subscribe to my channel do visit this existing ac900 playlist on this channel along with this new video series on ac900 this brings us to the end of part 3. See you in the next part.